Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've upgraded from the GT to a Bug Eye, S uh, not STI, it's running STI gear, um, Bug Eye WRX wagon or hatch or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's it decimates the V8, but it's a bit of an upgrade. Uh, we'll be sending to get a tune today. Uh, time to do some prep before the tune. Uh, did one of the valve covers last night. The other one found out they sent me the wrong gaskets. Uh, they sent me EJ207 valve cover gaskets, not EJ205s. It's running 05 STI turbo in a cooler. Uh, it's got a it's got an X-Force 3, 3 inch exhaust tune, but the tune's out of whack at the moment as it's over boosting at 23 PSO, which I know these motors don't like that kind of boost, especially the 205s when they're stock. Uh, we'll be keeping you updated and I hope you guys follow along for the journey and see you soon. But yeah, other than that, this thing decimates the V8. It's, the reason I got rid of the V8 was due to the fact that it it was falling apart, it was laggy, it wasn't the best car, it was thirsty, but other than that, now I've got the Rexy, it actually pulls ass, like I've had to change the CV, that's, that's the CV there, or part of it. As you can see, as you can see, it fell apart. It fell apart pretty bad. Um, I'll be doing a more of a rundown once the car's tuned, and I'll give my review on the tuner. I'm going to Volantes in St Mary's, the Subaru experts, or my local Subaru expert. Um, I'll keep you guys updated, and hope you guys enjoy content uh, sorry for the late upload it's been touch and go lately with work and everything else it's been a bit hard but other than that bloody mosquitoes um hope you guys enjoy it for the dyno time. Got it all clean. That's there because the driveway is like vertical. But yeah, she's all clean. Oh, speak and span. So, keep you guys tuned. I'll start filming again once before we leave and yeah. Hey guys, dropped the car off at the chairs. Now the weight is on. Hopefully, I can get footage of it actually running. Um, yeah, it's. He said it should make it easy 180 kilowatts. Don't know what that is in horsepower. I mean, it's like 230, 240. So, safe range. Uh, I don't really want to run big boost, but uh, we'll find out what works. Welcome back. Um, got the car back from the tuners. It is okay. The verdict is it's making decent power. I had intake temps of about 40 plus degrees. Uh, works out to be it made 548.2 newton meters of torque at the wheels. 
which is quite impressive for a four cylinder. Uh, and it made 169.8 kilowatts at all four wheels with 45 or 48 degree intake temps. Um, it is warm today, it's about 30 plus degrees Celsius. Um, best way to put it, he reckons his dyno reads lower than what is actually the car's making. He said that, it's the best way to put it, said when when it's cold weather, like winter, cold mornings, whatsoever, that it'll be clearing over 200 kilowatts. Easy, easy 200 plus, 210. He said about 200 to 210 kilowatts at the wheels on a cold morning. So that wraps up today's video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry there wasn't much content, but I'm getting there slowly. I'm just trying to get this car up and running. Um, that's today's vlog. Um, hope to see you guys in the next video and peace out guys.